A meat market owner apologizing for an interview with the Food Patrol. Yeah, that doesn't happen too often, that's for sure. But the big story, we hardly ever get to see proof of flies in food until tonight. <laughs> get ready for the good, the bad, and the dirty dining as we reveal what's not on the menu in this week's Food for Thought. The worst inspection on Food for Thought, Mr. Taco on 1034 McDavid in Brownsville. <laughs> 46 demerits. The restaurant is busted with a fly infestation so bad, kitchen cops are able to freely snap photos of flies in food. They're on cilantro. They're even inside a taco ready to be served. Other violations include dirty floors, raw and cooked meat on a cutting board next to each other. That's a cross-contamination concern. Food is stored outside and unprotected. And there's this temperature abuse on food as well. The health department followed up on the fly infestation and cooler with no repeat violations. Dairy Queen on 801 West Business 77 in San Benito is a low performer. The former 2009 sticker winner gets a visit from the Food Patrol for scoring 31 demerits. Not on the menu, expired foods and foods uncovered, improper defrosting of strawberries as a cross-contamination violation, toxic items improperly stored, and dirty utensils. Abel Cod 2 is Dairy Queen's assistant manager. He admits the inspection results aren't the restaurant's best. Yeah, we'll do better. Abel says the staff has worked hard to get the violations down to just 11 demerits on a re-inspection. He got us pretty early in the morning, so of course the, you know, the food, some of the food wasn't on temperature yet. <laughs> It's not every day the Food Patrol gets an apology from the owner of a meat market recently featured for roaches and mice poop. When that report hit the air on Food for Thought, how did it affect business? A lot. I was very surprised, but it did, it did affect a lot. Two weeks ago, RC's meat market on 135 South Bridge in Westlaco scored 23 demerits. The manager there blamed the violations on an inspector's vendetta for having political signs up outside the store. Marta Rios now says that's untrue and blames herself for the insect and rodent contamination. I had a company here doing the work. I called them. What happened? They said sometimes the chemicals don't work. That was the excuse. Uh, I shouldn't be more here. And Marta says she's at the store almost every day. RC's has a clean reinspection and a new pest control company to boot. Her message to dirty diners? Food for that can be good for a business or it can break it. Just ask the owner of China Coast on 1008 North Texas Boulevard in Westlaco. The restaurant is the newest featured top performer with zero demerits and that sticker on the door. Good food and uh clean place. That's a winning recipe. High five. You know what we say to that. Keep, Keep it clean. clean. Well, congrats to these other top performers tonight. We have Pizza Hut Mission, Subway on Alton Glore in Brownsville, Wingstop in Alamo, I Cook You Eat, TSDC Cafeteria, Gar Garabato's Grill, Jaime Sushi Bar, did I say that correctly? Las Vegas Cafe, all of them in Harlan. Jen. Great job. And remember, kitchens Keep it clean. We're reporting what's not on the menu. Hey, Food Patrol fans, if you had a little problems with the audio, what we had here at the station, you can always catch the full report online. I'll be posting it on my Facebook page. All you have to do is search Ryan Wolf. I'm also on Twitter. Hop online and be a Food Patrol insider to get the inside scoop on Dirty Dining. That was just our April Fool's in August. Yeah, <laughs>